It's Monday, September 9th. My name is Rich, and this is your 5-Minute Fix. Welcome to the 5-Minute Fix, where we take stories about pretty much anything from pretty much anywhere and try to give it to you in 5 minutes or less today. It's going to be a little different because we're going to do a react video because last week, approximately seven days ago, there was a wild nonsense TikTok trend that was going on and it involved Chase Bank and an infinite money glitch. Guys, I can't tell you or stress this enough. There is no such thing as an infinite money glitch. There isn't. There never has been. There never will be. You got to go out there and earn that money. <sighs> Man, they really told me to tap in. Next day, it was supposed to clear. Look at my account, yo. Okay, right off the hop, like I said, this came out like a week ago. Some of these videos are fake. People just clowning on people doing this infinite money glitch. This, allegedly, is one of the fake ones. Bro, what the? Now, you're probably thinking to yourself that this guy got himself into a call center situation, got scammed by an Indian guy called John. John <laughs> took $31,000 from his account and hit him with the outro of a by Ben Troy, but well, you could have not been more wrong. <laughs> Apparently, there's a new TikTok trend called the Infinity Money. This video as well, also a fake one. This is just a skit. This is just people clowning. Glitch, just like GTA, you go, you put in some X Y Z, and your <laughs> X, money y, Z's. trillions of uh, billions of uh, money on your. And if you pay attention in that video, it says that this guy is in a. ATM debt error, $31,000. 31K you tried to take out. On TikTok less than 48 hours ago, posted a video saying that there is a money glitch happening and you can get money out of that ATM without having the amount in your account. So dream big, go big, dream. win big with Chase Bank. <laughs> for the past hour, I've been looking for the original video to see who was the person who started this whole trend Nowhere to be found. Of that course guy not. Went John Cena mode. There are hundreds of videos posted about this, but everyone's sharing their opinion and they're sharing, giving information to the people. Some are filming people on the street. No, I said this one's real. Heavy. The room is <laughs> trending on TikTok, and everyone keeps on sending it to their WhatsApp friends group, sharing it with their friends, and telling them, you know what? We don't need to work for our dreams anymore. We can get the BMW M4 M5 as soon as possible without even working for it because. That's what I said. None of you can't. It just don't happen like that. You gotta work, 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 work. I just found the infinity money glitch. How does how does this infinity money glitch work? There are two ways. First way, apparently, if you go to Chase ATM to withdraw your money, once you're done withdrawing your money, it gives you a, a customer satisfaction survey that you know you have a choice to fill out or not. But one thing at that the Chase ATM Bank messed up in this situation was the fact that. Until you finish that customer satisfaction survey, your account is not going to log out. So if you just leave it like that and say, okay, I got my money, peace. The next person can come and press back, 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 go to have access to all your account and can transfer oh. your money to their account. All right. How? That is crazy. And I'd like to know how many of uh, how many of these situations happened where somebody went to their account, did the survey, blah, 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 didn't log out of their account, essentially. Like, what are we using to... These guys using personal banking on uh, ATMs now? Like, what? how does this happen? I'm confused about how that happens. Second way, the way it works is apparently there was a glitch in the system where you can just write up a check, chase check, and just put it inside the bank, $30,000 when your bank account is like $20. But before it verifies this check, it is going to give you the money. So people saw all of the money, big, but not that big, unrealistically with millions. What happened to uh, limits? Don't you like, uh, isn't there like a 200, $300 limit on uh, cash checks, checks deposited? That's crazy. Of dollars, people went tens of thousands of dollars like that guy who, who gave in $31,000. There are people with $40,000, $20,000, $15,000, and the list goes on. But one thing a lot of people fail to realize, they got blinded by that money glitch. Oh my God, I'm about to get my favorite car, my favorite item or whatever is the u.s government loves three things and three things only in their life <laughs> they care about oil they care about <laughs> the banks and the third thing is sending money to israel any chance they get so if you think you can glitch your way Damn. into getting a life hack gta money you are mistaken because they're going to come after every single one of you whoever every last one okay this is i'll save my thoughts for after but like every last one of those motherfuckers they getting snatched up 
participated in this trend you, you might be you know watching this you might have wanted to go through this trend you maybe you did maybe you lost some money but most of us watching we have a little bit of brain cell that we can look into reality and see that it's just not that easy. The U.S. government will work eight days a week to identify these eight guys. Eight days and a week. Money back, hit them with a the fine, or the people who were the, you know, gave in the checks, they're going to be in heavy, heavy debts. Whatever amounts they took, they're going to, you know, not get that money and be in debt and get a fine on top of it. And their accounts are going to be held for seven days. And just to clarify the second part of this money glitch it is not called the infinity money glitch it is it has a very simple word for it it is called financial fraud it is nothing <laughs> yes. new. it's been around for a very long time but people apparently under 25 uh. do not usually know how banks work and the second they uh. started getting that money not realizing they're going to be fine they're going to be ar potentially arrested yeah they're going to yeah. have their accounts closed up took it to the street and started celebrating Shit! I mean, funny, funny clip, but yeah, like I said, this was uh, found out to be a fake, fake clip. <laughs> what did they miss after that video? They missed how their lives were and how ungrateful they were before this whole TikTok trend. And you know they're going to be walking a thousand miles to pay back those debts. <laughs> and this isn't the first time that this whole thing happened. It apparently happened to Cash App that I had no knowledge of. I just researched and turns out Cash App had this glitch as well. Apparently other banks, other apps, they had this glitch as well where it's not really a glitch. It is literally fraud and a lot of people fall into it because of the idea of not working for their money. Oof. <laughs> Here's a video of another guy who regretted his life the second he started to join this trend, checking his funds availability. I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I told you. The, fuck? the irony of this guy's uh instagram handle self-driven <laughs> no you ain't if you doing this no you ain't bro i fucking knew it this fucking dumbass is you bro fuck chase nigga i knew that to fuck with chase fuck chase bro. oh what the fuck Fuck, man, I know I shouldn't link into this shit, man. What the fuck, bro? Bro told me tap in, bro. Bro said he got the job a day before this shit could happen. Bro was like, yo, 50 tap in. Bro, hook you up. Ah, ah, ah. Could you imagine just seeing negative 11K in your bank account? Oh, that is, oh. I'm like, I bet this is my only shit. Bro. Now, I have no idea how many people tapped into this whole trend, but I have no doubt it is minimum couple of thousand people and i'm pretty sure they're not going to catch every single one of them i you think don't think so around one to five percent of the people who did this whole thing got away with it but i i don't know they have records of everything how would they not catch them all these are the easiest pokemons to catch you got bank accounts addresses names phone numbers place of employment they got all the info there ain't no way they're not catching all of them ain't no way but the 95 percent they're going to be in for a in a depth for a very long time and i like the fact that these guys after losing their money not getting anything out of it you know having a chance of getting arrested having a chance of going to court losing all this money and first thing they decide to do is you know what let's post let about it my yeah plan. let me get out <laughs> and make a video might as well cover like get a, get good get a viral video out of it and get like 100 bucks from it at least now the spokesperson of chase oh bank told God. the post consumers should be skeptical if something seems too, too good, good to yeah be true. no it like shit is he or she also said we are aware of this incident and it has been addressed regardless of what you see online depositing a fraudulent check and withdrawing funds from your account is fraud yes plain and simple yes. and these people i think they're going to I, I i don't know shit about banks but what i'm guessing is they're going to have a record with different banks as well if they want to open different banks and they're going to have That's a good. history of yeah fraudulent red flag is truly an interesting place it can risk your life it can ruin your life it can 
there's there's nothing good coming <laughs> out of TikTok. Anything that TikTok trend is happening. Now, I believe the uh, only way that this whole thing will be acceptable is if you're sitting at home one day or you wake up in the morning and you see 50, 50 or $100,000 just pop into your Oof. account. That is a time. Wait, which has happened. You take it out. You spend it as fast as you can. And when the bank comes up, sorry, we accidentally send you a mistake. You know, by mistake, we send you 100K. It's not really your money. You have to pay it back or we'll take it to court. That is a time where you say, what money? And if they decide <laughs> to take you to court, just be like the night before I prayed to God to help me with my financial problems and in the morning. My answer, my were prayers, prayers were, were answered. answered. That's right. That, that's the thing. I'm kidding. Obviously, do not try this. Joke. YouTube is definitely going to demonetize or, or age strict or even take down this video because I'm promoting, you know, if you get $100,000 in your account, spend it. So definitely do not do what I would do. So next time you come across a TikTok trend which involves banks, it is not GTA. It is reality. Banks love their money and their bank more than their mothers. They will touch uh, you in places you have never been touched before. Uh, but anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm curious to know what they you will think get about it. this whole trend. Let me know if this, if you heard about this sooner. Would you have really gone for it or not? But yeah, uh, like, subscribe. You know the rest. I don't need to remind you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one. Yo, this situation is the perfect example of natural selection, okay? I'm sorry, but all these dumbass people thinking there really is a money glitch? But, like, uh, I just, and to think that, you know, oh, the bank's giving away free money. When is a bank ever gonna give away free money? Bank ain't never gonna give away free money. You know that shit's gonna be, it's 2024. If there's a glitch, even if there was a glitch, which I, I don't know if you call it a glitch or whatever, but in a situation like this, there ain't no damn way the bank is not gonna correct it. ASAP diddly too. Like it's gonna get rectified. The fact that these people just thought, mm, let's go get it. I don't know. I guess that just shows the state of uh, intelligence within certain places around the world. But I want to know what you think. Did you guys hear about this? Did you see this TikTok trend by any chance? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. My name is Rich. This has been your 5-Minute Fix.